What's going on all my YouTube buddies? I'm Jacob with a first on my YouTube channel. Today I'll be starting my side project on my channel which is reviewing musical albums. I brought up uh, my walk review where I'm going to start reviewing discographies of different artists and to keep this series going definitely leave requests in the comments below of what other artists and albums I should tackle in the near future. Special thanks to Esley Greer from Entertainment Fanatic Reviews who gave me the idea to review the discography of Green Day and today I'm going to start by reviewing their debut album from 1991 1039 smoothed out slappy hours. So let's get started. So if you're unfamiliar with who Green Day are, Green Day is a Canadian punk rock band. They formed in the late 80s and it comprises of the members Billy Joe Armstrong, the lead vocalist and the guitarist. Mike Durnt, who is the bass player, and then percussionist John Kiffmeyer. They released their first album, 1009 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours, in October of 1991, which is technically a compilation of some EPs they released before. And actually, their original album, 39 Smooth, is actually an Alan Print album. 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours is a combination of that Alan Print album and two of their other EPs and so now technically this is their first album now and it was interesting listening to this first album because I'm used to Green Day as this big mainstream rock band they definitely have their sound figured out now of course with you know a lot of punk influences and there's a lot of meaning and there's a lot of raw anger in a lot of their songs which is very fascinating to listen to. Like, I'm a big fan of songs like Wake Me Up When September Ends and Boulevard of Broken Dreams. So it was fun going back to their first album, which was independently made. It didn't have any singles, and the buildup of Green Day relied in the grassroots support of punk rock fans who love listening to punk rock music, especially underground punk rock music that wasn't big radio hits. And so I thought it was interesting listening to 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours. And I'm not going to say this is a great album. It's, there's definitely a lot of issues I have with this album. Mainly the fact that it's definitely, at this point, Green Day was an amateur band then. And so you, you see a lot more cracks in their music compared to their music now which is a lot more professionally made and I think the songwriting's better and the craft is better but it's cool seeing where they got their start I mean there's some fun musical moments on the album there are some killer guitar solos in there and you see early on that Billy Joe Armstrong is a great vocalist and you definitely see that early on a very interesting one as well I think my big issue with the album is when you're listening to 19 songs back to back and most of them have similar punk rock sounds, they start to feel repetitive after a while. I don't know if that's a problem with their other albums as, I gotta be honest, this is the first Green Day album I've heard in full. I just listened to their other songs on radio and stuff. And so, I'm hoping that's not a problem with their other albums, but you know, this is, I mean, it's fine. This is a fine album. You get to see some of the influences that inspired Green Day. Some of the punk rock bands of the 70s like The Clash and The Ramones on some of their songs. And th those aren't bad influences to get to form basis of a band. I think those are great examples to do punk rock. And then of course, you know, when Green Day became big, that's when they really got the shine. But the, there are some good moments in this album. I'm going to reveal some of my highlights on 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours. The, the first song at the library I really liked. I really enjoyed the wordplay of that song. The story at hand about 
a man trying to impress a girl at the library and that going wrong when he realizes that she has a boyfriend. And I, I do find that pretty fascinating. I like the build up to that song and it's a fun little listen. Uh, Don't Leave Me is a track I really enjoyed. It kind of had this feel of what would happen if the Beatles went punk. And I kind of like that feel. Uh, Disappearing Boy I really liked. I like the whole wordplay of that album. Like, now you see me, now you don't. I like that angle in a song. 16, I found a very relatable song about youth and the passage of time. There's just some actually good lyrics in this song. I got like... Every time I look in my past, I always wish I was there. I wish my youth would forever last. Why are these times so unfair? And I just find that very relatable lyrics, and that's one of the better songs on the album. Rest, I highly enjoyed. It's a, kind of a power ballad type vibe, and that's a more unique track on the album because of that, as most of them are very punk and in your face. I did enjoy The Judge's Daughter. It's this very in-your-face, paranoia-esque track. And I feel like that song was kind of the building blocks to Basket Case, one of their greatest songs. I really enjoy seeing the building blocks of that. Uh, the final song, I Want to Be Alone, I, I highly enjoyed the uh, isolation and insecurities of that song with the punk rock production. I felt like that was kind of cool listening to. I did enjoy the guitar solo on Dry Ice. The lyrics were left to be desired, but that guitar solo was killer. But my favorite song on the whole album, Saving the Best for Last, is a song called Knowledge. Knowledge is actually a cover song. They covered it from an underground punk band called Operation Ivy. After listening to the Green Day cover, I listened to the original version. And they're both really good. It's interesting... Operation Ivy's version is definitely more intense and in your face. And for a song under two minutes, that's very impressive. The Green Day version is a lot more scaled back. It feels bluesier compared to Operation Ivy's. But I gotta say, I prefer the Green Day version. I think the Green Day one, I think it's just more chill. Even though I love the uh, irony in that song. The song is called Knowledge, but... Uh, then you look at some of the lyrics, like, I know things are getting tougher when you can't get the top off the bottom of the barrel. Wide open road of my future now, it's looking effing narrow. And then you got that great chorus. Oh, I know is that I don't know. Oh, I know is that I don't know nothing. Oh, I know is that I don't know. Oh, I know is that I don't know nothing. And it's fine. Oh, that is just a, that's just a fun song. Easily the best song of the album. It's the most memorable. It's definitely the most distinct because I feel like a lot of the songs kind of sound the same. And that's why I really dug Knowledge because of how distinct it was from the rest of the album. 1039 smoothed out Slappy Hours. There's a lot of cracks in it. You definitely see that this band was just getting started and you definitely see some cracks this is definitely before they got a major label and they found their identity as a band and I can't wait to get to that in this series but yeah this is an okay album it has its moments there's moments of forgettability in there but you start to see the beginnings of what made Green Day such an iconic band and I, I thought this was a decent album. Uh, there's things that could have been better, but there are some moments in there. And uh, I'm glad that listening to this album introduced me to knowledge. I, that's now one of my favorite Green Day songs now. So, so thank you, Esley Greer, for getting me the review of all the Green Day albums. Knowledge is one of my favorite Green Day songs now. Thank you. Uh, I'm going to give Smoothed Out Slappy Hours. What I'm going to do with album reviews is just rate them out of 10 to make it pretty easy. And I think for Smoothed Out Slappy Hours, I'm going to give that album, I'll say a 6 out of 10. There's some really good moments in there. I think if it didn't have the really strong moments like Knowledge and Rest and I Want to Be Alone and Judge's Daughter, I think it'd be in a 5 or 5.5. But 
Those extra pushes actually help the song. Some of the best elements of the album, really. I think it's a decent album. I, I enjoyed parts of it. It's could have been better, but it's a decent little debut album from a band that did better things along the way. So that wraps up my first album review. 1039 Smoothed Out Slappy Hours Green Day. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, I was able to listen to the whole album for free on YouTube. I know you can also listen to it on Spotify. I was going to listen to it on Spotify. I think Spotify was down the day I decided to listen to the album, so I listened to it on YouTube instead, which had a whole playlist of the album. So that's pretty neat. I'll leave a link in the description below for the full album if you want to listen to it, and also the Operation Ivy version of Knowledge. So you can compare and contrast the two versions for yourself. If you enjoyed this review and want to see more, definitely give it a thumbs up. Click that subscribe button and click that notification bell and be notified of future album reviews. This is going to be a fun little side project. I plan on reviewing Green Day's other albums. And I also have other artists I want to cover on this series as well. And definitely leave your requests in the comments below of what albums, what artists I should tackle to build this series up because I'm a big fan of music too as I am with movies and I want to share a different side of myself on my YouTube channel. So if you enjoyed this video, like I said, give it a thumbs up, share your thoughts in the comments below, click that subscribe button and that notification bell to be notified of future videos. If this is your first video, I'm starting music reviews. I mainly do movie reviews, TV reviews, trailer reactions, ranking videos, and other fun stuff along the way. So if you're a fan of movies, you're definitely in luck there as well. This music thing, I'm just getting started. And I'm hoping it goes somewhere as well. And if you're a big music fan, definitely give this channel some love as well. I hope you all have an amazing day. God bless. And I will see you next time. Goodbye!